by much bigger drug companies that actually uh, you would argue uh, large multi-billion dollar companies with lots of cash don't necessarily need to do something like this. Turing is a very small company, it's a new company, and we're not a profitable company. So for us to try to exist and, and maintain a profit, I think is pretty reasonable. Most biotech companies don't actually maintain a profit for decades until they get drugs onto the market. Why are you guys different? Well, I think of us as a pharmaceutical company, uh, not necessarily a biotechnology company, and um, I think that distinction is not exactly clear uh, either way, but I think profits are a great thing to sustain uh, uh, your uh, corporate existence. Martin, you mentioned that you're a small uh, company and you're going to use uh, the price increase, the difference to do R&D to find a better cure for toxoplasmosis. What kind of R&D staff do you have? Uh, what, sort of, what amount of money do you plan on, on devoting to research and develop, development? Sure, so, so we have about 25 people in R&D and we have open positions for another 25. We do medicinal chemistry in vivo and vitro pharmacology. I help the team out quite a bit, uh, so I'm really excited to develop new drugs for, for toxoplasmosis. We're going to contribute the majority of our revenue to doing that. So in essence, we're taking the revenue from Daraprim and trying to come up with a better, safer, more effective version of it. Okay. And uh, you were a hedge fund manager before. Yes. You probably could have guessed, as Meg had mentioned, that this is going to cause a stir. And we actually saw the IVB, the Biotech Index ETF, go down about 5% on Hillary's tweet. Did you anticipate that that would happen? Are you in any way invested in biotech through a short, either personally or yeah, through I, another fund? I have a small portfolio, but uh, I don't really watch the stock market on a day-to-day -day basis. So does that mean that you're...